The next report may be the clearest indication yet of how China is influencing the internal decision-making of the ruling Nepalese Communist Party and thus influencing the Nepali government. According to Nepalese media, the Chinese ambassador to Nepal, Ho Yangkui, held a meeting with one of the dissident leaders of the ruling Nepal Communist Party, or the NCP, Madhav Kumar Nepal, at the latter's residence in Koteshwar. The report said that Ho inquired about the intra-party disputes within the ruling NCP. It added that the envoy expressed concern over the growing rift seen within the ruling NCP. The meeting between the Chinese ambassador and senior NCP leader of Nepal came ahead of a crucial standing committee meeting of the party. Interestingly, the standing committee meeting, which uh, was scheduled for today, has been postponed until Wednesday. The meet is expected to decide whether or not to oust Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Ali. How also held a meeting with President Bidya Devi Bandari. Earlier, rival factions leaders, including Pushpa Kamal Dahal and senior leader of Nepal, have sought the resignation of Prime Minister Ali, or arguing that uh, he failed miserably in both governance and party affairs. We spoke with Ranjit Ray earlier, India's former ambassador to Nepal. Listen into his comments. No, absolutely. I agree with you. And this is not something uh, new. Uh, you know, the unification of the two communist parties in the past was also encouraged and facilitated uh, by the Chinese. Uh, you know, some weeks ago when Prime Minister Oli was in a very difficult position within his own party, we again saw the Chinese ambassador playing a very active role in trying to uh, find a compromise solution. Of course, that solution really hasn't lasted because there's again a crisis. And, you know, once again, we see the Chinese ambassador very active. So my sense is that the Chinese have taken a strategic decision to strongly support the Nepal Communist Party. And I think they want to do everything uh, they can uh, to ensure that this uh, party does not get uh, divided or does not split. I think that is their core interest. And the second thing I want to mention also is the very close relationship that is developing now between the Chinese Communist Party and the Nepalese Communist Party. And they're exchanging uh, views on how the parties uh, should be run, how they can be strengthened. The Nepalese Communist Party is being trained by cadres from the Chinese Copu Communist Party uh, on Xi Jinping thought. Uh, so I think the Chinese are investing very significantly now uh, in the Nepalese communists. And, you know, I think this is something that India needs to be very, very watchful about. Well, you know, I don't like the term rebel leaders. Mr. Madhav Kumar Nepal is a former prime minister. He's been a former general secretary of the, you know, earlier communist party. Uh, so he's a very senior person. And I think, you know, all ambassadors meet all senior leaders of political parties. But it's the timing of this particular visit, I think, that has raised uh, certain uh, questions and apprehensions. And the Nepalese media itself is, uh, you know, raising the question as to why the Nepalese, uh, the Chinese ambassador has chosen this very sensitive moment uh, to, you know, begin her interactions with some of the leaders of the Nepalese uh, Communist Party. So I think uh, it's the timing that, uh, you know, people are objecting to. And, you know, one doesn't really know what was discussed. But what is coming out uh, in, the, in the media in Nepal is that they discussed the current political developments uh, relating to the internal turmoil uh, within the Nepal Communist Party.